What's up, you goons? It's Jacob here. And uh, yeah, I'm about to go to bed. As you can see, I got my bed all kind of set up, ready to go. And uh, I'll sit down for this. I'm, uh, I'm going to be doing a virtual 5K turkey trot tomorrow morning. And uh, I just wanted to tell you guys that now because I don't think tomorrow morning I'm going to um, I'm gonna want to focus. So I'm not going to want to talk about what I'm doing and stuff. I'm just going to do my race and then afterwards I'll give you guys a little recap or something like that. And also hopefully get some video of me doing that 5K. So yeah, as you can see over here, I got things all set up. So I got my socks, got the long sleeve just for some extra layers, the New Balance shorts for my pit uniform. Um, unfortunately, I didn't remember my um, singlet, my pit singlet. So big sad there. I'm just repping this, uh, repping this Nike. And then um, got some sweatpants underneath those just for extra layers to stay warm. Beanie gloves, you know, warmth important before a race just to be warm got the buff and then here's my bib which i'll put onto my uh put onto my shirt there racing that so that'll be pretty sweet um yeah i think it'll be nice just to have like a somewhat what it'll, it'll feel kind of like a race with the bib and everything so yeah guys that's that's what's going on so uh wish me luck tomorrow morning 5k hopefully sub 16 is the goal so we'll see how we do um, kind of got wrecked with mono for a month and the month before that I twisted my ankle really bad and was out for that as well. So I got hit with the double whammy. So it'll be interesting to see what I can do. I've been training for maybe five or six weeks now. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to stop talking now because I always talk way too long. Uh, but anyways, yeah, um, I'll see you after the race tomorrow. What's up guys? It's me. I'm back. Back from my my 5K turkey trot virtual race that I did. And um, so I'll just tell you guys how it went. So basically what happened was my dad and I drove up together to the York College track and we parked in their lot. And um, we I did my warm up and uh, when I got back, I saw that there was a police car in the lot uh, and he was kind of farther away, but it, we were the only other ones. We were the only ones in the lot, me and the police car. So uh, we were a little... <laughs> We were a little skeptical, so when we got onto the track, uh, he, a police man ended up coming up to us, uh, the guy from that car, and he booted us off because we're not registered. You have to be a registered student or faculty member to be in that parking lot and on the track as well. So uh, thankfully, I had a plan B, which was to run on the rail trail, which is right beside the track. So we drove about a mile down so we could find a place to park, and I got myself off on the rail trail and started my 5K. And um, it went pretty well. I mean, I ran, uh, according to Strava, I ran a 16.06. The elapsed time was 16.18 for 3.15 miles, according to Garmin Connect. Um, but that converts to the 16.06 that Strava had me at for the 5K distance. Because um, Strava gets the best uh, efforts from the race. So it'll take the first 3.14 or however long the a 5K, 5K is, which is 3.107, I think. So yeah, 1606, we'll take it. It's it's pretty good. Um, my goal was to do sub 16 if I was going to be on a track. So I think that would have definitely converted to a sub 16. And also uh, the rail trail is gravel. So it is a little slower just running on the gravel. Um, and I had a little bit of wind against me pretty much the entire way. I ran about 2.6, 2.7 miles out and then 0.5 back. So it was almost a point to point, but I had to do a little turnaround um, at the end there. So I had the wind against me for a fair, the majority of the run, which wasn't ideal. Um, wasn't crazy winds, four to five miles per hour, but it still felt it definitely. It was still pretty annoying, um, but I'm not going to make excuses about it. It was a decent race and I'm, I'm overall satisfied with how it went. Um, could have been better, could have been worse. It's okay. It was a decent race. Um, so I think I'm going to try to get out on a track, um, I think, uh, in a couple weeks before I take off for two weeks and really try to send something, just throw down because, uh, yeah, I, uh, I want to do a sub 16 on the track. That was kind of my goal for this year was to get a sub 16 because I was cl even close my freshman year. So I was thinking I could definitely get like a, 
1550 or something like that now um after being in good shape and stuff um and I, I came in today off only three speed workouts and about six weeks of base training so you know i um i'm not in the best of shape so yeah coming back i got off track there but anyways 1606 it's a good time i'll, I'll take it um and right now i am first on the leaderboards for the turkey trot the virtual turkey trot um, as you can see here, the next closer thing to me, hold on, it's kind of blurry, but I am the first place guy right now. Um, the next place, next guy is 1757, so a fair bit off, so I think I might win that. But, um, yeah, here's my run. You can kind of see average pace 511, um, 1619 elapsed time, which gives me that 1606 official according to Strava. Um, so yeah, we'll take it, guys. So, uh. Yeah, I think uh, I'm going to call it here on the video. Uh, sorry that I couldn't get footage, obviously. My dad was just at the very end to cheer me on at the finish. Can't really get video on the rail trail. It's just it's, it's just one way out, and he, only, I was only, he was the only one there to cheer me on. So he got a little bit of footage on his phone, but I'm just not going to show that because it's not worth it. Um, so anyway, sorry about that. But, uh, you know, I, ho I hope you guys enjoyed me just talking to you guys pretty much, kind of like a vlog-style video. Um, and sooner or later, within the next week or so, there should be another video coming out. Stay tuned for that. Uh, it's going to be a spicy one, similar similar in craziness to the Big Mac Mile and the uh, Duct Tape 400. So, yeah, stay tuned for that, guys. Um, yeah, having said that, I'm going to do some stretching now. Maybe I'll show a little bit of that, and then I'm going to call it on this video.